back. This is going to be back-to-back YouTube videos. We won't be going to the Grove today because I want to take a break. Maybe on one to two, maybe three week break from the Grove. Um, why? Because I got to prepare for September because we're going to have some smash mouth football. And I want to get to predicting the NFL football um, lineup matchups. Now this YouTube video ain't going to be talking about no television and film. Because I did that in the first video of my back to back. And this one's going to be talking about life perspective. We still have the accident. As you do know, people are getting their YouTube channels demonetized, videos taken down, because YouTube's made a rule that no one is to talk about the real name of the accident. You talk about the real name of the accident, your video gets deleted, taken down, and demonetized. So we're going to keep calling it the accident until the crisis is over. So this is going to be one of those serious, motivational type of videos, but it's going to have a... a an approach to it. It's going to be talking about money because there's people making a lot of videos about money as of lately. So I decided to make a, a video about what I think about when you get your $1,200 stimulus check. What are the most important things you should do with the money and what you should not do with the money? Now, I'm not going to say any names or direct this towards any people I know because when you do that, some people find that rude and disrespectful when you aim towards them. But their behavior, that's how I'm going to put it, their behavior, it kind of makes me concerned because they don't, I don't think they understand the atmosphere we're in. So I have to explain to them from a perspective where it might make sense to them before, you know, things of that nature kick off and then they don't have what they have. So this is for men and women, men and women, young or old, black or white. And this is for the people who just graduated from high school or from college. This video is mostly for y'all, but men of all ages and women of all ages, you are welcome to watch this video. Now, the title of this YouTube video is going to be called Sex Game and Life, Money Can Change Some People. Now, when you hear the title, In Life, Money Can Change Some People, the first thing that comes to your mind is money does change some people. When people first get money, a lot of things happen. A lot of good things happen. A lot of bad things happen. Some people, when they make money, they take things for granted. They don't appreciate the most important things in life when they get money. And I'm not saying I'm perfect because every time I've got a job, I've always made two or three mistakes when I've made money. Sometimes I would buy stuff that was unnecessary. I should have waited three or six months later to see how things play out, then go buy those materialistic items. And sometimes I might get a conversation, maybe five or six, maybe seven conversations from my dad telling me there are some rules that comes with making a lot of money. There are rules for making money. There are rules for when you're not making money. So I'm going to explain the rules on what happens when you make money. Now, I have this one individual whose name I'm not allowed to say because they're not here to defend themselves. And they watch my YouTube videos, and as of lately, they made it clear to me that they've been taking my YouTube videos and putting it on a flash screen TV in their garage to let all my other family members watch my videos. How do I feel about that? I, I would say if it was just him doing it, it's okay. But sometimes you need to ask me, is it okay to put me on the flash screen TV for other family members to watch my YouTube videos? Because... This is going to lead into another YouTube video, probably Sunday or Monday, called What Happens When You Make a Lot of Success and a Lot of People Hate You When You Make a Lot of su Success. Because when you put me on a flash screen TV, it ain't rude and disrespectful to me, but it is to your other family members, my other cousins, because they live in Lancaster. And when they see me on a big screen, you're making it seem like I'm the blueprint to success. And they're going to be like, he ain't the blueprints to success. And then they get insecure, jealous, and envious because you're, you know, you're showing off to them, look what I accomplished when this wasn't accomplished overnight. This took like almost 10 or 12 years to pull off. The first six or seven years, we had to go to film school. So this wasn't done overnight. You know, this is not overnight success. This is called step-by-step -step work your ass off success. So that's why I'm saying you got to be careful about putting me on a, big screen TV uncle and letting other family members see these videos and not realize how they're going to take it. Not everybody takes it in a good, happy way. Now I'm going to get to the main topic of the issue. Now this individual that I'm talking about wanted to come visit me 
when I was doing a YouTube video. And this person wanted to talk about that they had got the $1,200 stimulus check. I didn't care that you had a $1,200 stimulus dollar check. The issue was you don't show off somebody to what you got because that's how you become a target. And that's how people think, oh, he think he better than me because he got some money. See, when you make, when you get, it's like what Latorious B.I.G. said in the video. The more money you make, the more problems you have. There's a reason why he said it in his rap song. It's true. The more money you make, the more problems you invite into your life. Now, here's the first rule about making money. You don't tell everyone that you have money. That's rule number one. Don't always be so quick to tell your best friends that you, go, that you went to high school and college with, I got money. Because what happens is they think you have money like that all the time. And then you get used just because you have money. And then it becomes a problem later in life that when you lose your job, you ain't got no house, you ain't got no apartment, you ain't got no car, and you broke and you're borrowing money from other people, they will look down on you like a peasant because you ain't got no house, you ain't got no, par, no car, you ain't got no job, you ain't making no money, and they look down on you like you're a loser. And they don't understand your financial situation. They don't understand that you're struggling. And a lot of times, and I'm not trying to always make it seem like this always happens in the African-American community because it's worldwide now. You're seeing it happening to white people. You're seeing it happening to Latino people. You're seeing it happen in every single race of culture. It's not just black. So before someone say, why are you always saying African-American community? It's not. So people might misconstrue what I say and things get lost um, in translation, I'm just trying to explain to you the rules of making money. Rule number one, don't tell everybody that you're making money. Rule number two, sometimes money is like a superpower. And let me explain myself what I mean by money is like a superpower. It shows you how full of, full, how full of shit people are. I'm going to explain it to you. When I was a kid and I used to want Power Ranger toys... Dragon Ball Z action figures, when I wanted comic books and video games, my mom used to always tell me, 